Could we be heading for a third straight week of watching Tyrod Taylor play quarterback for the New York Giants this Sunday when the Giants face the New York Jets in week eight of the NFL season? Ed Valentine of Big Blue View here with your Valentine's Views podcast. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're watching the show. And uh, listen, the uh, Giants quarterback, Daniel Jones, was on the Up and Adams show on Tuesday, his weekly appearance on uh, on the show with Kay Adams. And he told Adams that he is still not cleared for contact as of uh, as of today. Said he can do everything. He can run, he can lift, he can throw, he can practice. He's just not yet cleared for contact. Did not give any indication as to whether or not he expected to be cleared for contact this week. But that is really the status quo for Jones as to where he was a week ago. He practiced on a limited basis last week. He was able to throw. He did individual drills. He just did not participate in any team periods in the buildup to uh, the week seven game against the Washington Commanders. So not sure if uh, if Jones is going to be able to play on Sunday. We will find out more on Wednesday from Giants head coach Brian Dable. We'll find out more about Jones. We'll find out more about injured offensive lineman Andrew Thomas, John Michael Schmitz, and Evan Neal. Been some rumblings that Thomas and perhaps Schmitz would be back in the lineup this week after multi-week absences. Uh, Dayball kind of deferred on that when we talked to him on Monday. We'll know more about that on Wednesday when we see if those guys are out on the practice field, which they haven't been for the last few weeks. I'm kind of anticipating that Evan Neal will be back out on the on the field, at least in a limited fashion. Missed last week with uh, with an ankle injury. I doubt that that's a long term type of thing. So my guess right now would be that Neal would be at right tackle on Sunday against the Jets. Really interesting to see what happens here with Daniel Jones. Third straight missed game would indicate that perhaps the Giants would have been better to put him on short-term IR and and sign a veteran quarterback. Don't really know, but at this point, you know, maybe he does play Sunday, maybe he doesn't, but as I said, it seems like feels like sounds like status quo he can do everything except take a hit on that injured neck so we'll see if uh, we'll see if he gets cleared between now and Sunday and if he gets cleared early enough to uh, to go through some strenuous practices with the Giants so that they're comfortable sending him out there Sunday against the New York Jets listen on Tuesday at Big Blue View I I wrote a piece on why Daniel Jones needs to be the Giants quarterback going forward once he's healthy. And I think that that's a piece I would hope that you guys would stop by BigBlueView.com and and read that piece. I know what Brian Dayball said on Sunday after the game. I know that that his comment, as I wrote at Big Blue View, more or less cracked the door open for the possibility that Tyrod Taylor could start once Jones was healthy, but I do not believe that that will happen, nor do I believe that that is the right path for the New York Giants. I think that you have to realize that the Giants gave Daniel Jones the contract they gave him in the offseason, really as a two-year prove-it contract. In my mind, he has not really yet had an opportunity this season to work with a fully functional offense. Andrew Thomas got hurt in the first game. Wandale Robinson missed the first two games and wasn't really part of the offense until week four. Saquon Barkley got hurt at the end of the week two game and really wasn't part of the offense in in week one, to be honest. The Giants barely remembered to give him the ball. They've, They've turned to Barkley more since he returned from his ankle injury. In, uh, in week six and seven, when he ha- when he rushed more than 20 times in each game, Jones didn't have the, the luxury of Barkley, the benefit of the Giants feeling like they could lean on the running game. So, And he's also been dealing with the makeshift offensive line, which is beginning to stabilize, has begun to stabilize the last couple of weeks. 
going back to the wide receiver situation, the Giants have also finally been incorporating Jalen Hyatt more the last couple of weeks, who really was an afterthought the first three or four weeks in the offense, guy that the Giants didn't get the ball to nearly enough except for that second half in Arizona when Jones got a couple of deep shots to uh, to Hyatt during that comeback my point being that I think the Giants still need more information about Daniel Jones. They still need to see how he functions with all of the pieces around him. I believe that that contract they gave him was a prove-it deal. I don't think that with this current group, he's had the real opportunity to prove whether he can be the answer one way or the other. What I do know is Tyrod Taylor is a good backup quarterback. Tyrod Taylor deserves credit for what he's done the last couple of weeks. But Tyrod Taylor is not the long-term answer at quarterback. The Baltimore Ravens didn't see him as the long-term answer. The Buffalo Bills didn't see him as the long-term answer. The Cleveland Browns, the Houston Texans didn't see him as the long-term answer. I'm I'm forgetting one of the teams that that Taylor has played for but at at the age of 34 in his 13th year in the league that's not going to change. He can play functional football for the Giants. He can give them an opportunity to win some games, but he's not the long-term answer at quarterback for the New York Giants. And and for that reason I think the Giants have got to play Daniel Jones when he's healthy. We don't know if Daniel Jones is the long-term answer. It's a problem that we're still asking the question. It's a problem that we're still comparing him to Tyrod Taylor. And yet, Jones still might be the long-term answer. He played very well last year, even though it wasn't prolific. I think you need to give Daniel Jones the opportunity to get healthy, to show what he can do, with a healthy Barkley, with a healthy Waller, with a healthy Wandale Robinson, with Jalen Hyatt fully incorporated into the offense, with Andrew Thomas and John Michael Schmitz back in the lineup, with Justin Pugh in the lineup. See what Daniel Jones can do with the Giants offense at what is as close as it can be to full strength given the personnel that they have and then make a decision as to whether or not the Giants have to go into the draft and get a quarterback in the 2024 NFL draft. I think that's the right path. I think it's the path that they'll follow. I'm just not sure at this point if the Giants are going to get the opportunity to follow that path this Sunday against the uh, the New York Jets. That will depend, of course, on whether or not Jones gets cleared for contact at some point this week. We'll continue to have all of the information on Jones' ish, on Jones injury, other injuries, complete previews, analysis, coverage of the Giants-Jets game this coming Sunday at MetLife Stadium. So please follow us along at follow along with us at Big Blue View as we give you anything and everything that you should need to stay up to date with your New York Giants. All right, thank you very very much for listening. Please stay safe out there. Take care of each other, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.